Hello. Today, where are we at, Brandon? We are right next to FDC B15. Um, but we are at Disney Springs for the first time in like 8,000 years. Sarah could probably tell you yeah, exactly when. And we are randomly coming to the boathouse for the first time in also 8,000 years. I know. We so. both got out of work a little early in the afternoon, yep. so we decided to give it a try. Yeah. So um, how long has it been since we've been to Disney Springs? So or I the boathouse like specifically? Summer. So it's been a while, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but we're here early, and it is pretty crowded already. But, um, the day. Yeah, we have about five minutes before we have to check in. I feel like we should just stop telling people yeah, how we should just close yeah. we are. Yeah, if you go back and look at our videos <laughs> in the past month or two, we're always like, we're coming in hot, but we are coming hot again. But yeah, so um, anyway, we're at Disney Springs, and we are going to the Boathouse, a place that we have always loved, and we hope we continue to love it today. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. With uh, maybe you can see Santa in it. And Rudolph. Yeah, it's it's uh they've done good theming here for um for Christmas. Yeah, super fun for the holidays. We have ordered our food. Travis is our server. We've had him before. And he, he is outstanding. He might be one of the best servers, not just here, but that He's we really have. Good. Travis, Travis, if you're seeing this, or if anyone knows Travis at the boathouse, he is phenomenal. We're awesome. And um, who's his assist? Not assistant, but he's training someone tonight. And she's been really nice to you, Ari. I think Ari. I She's been very good. And yeah. then we just talked to the manager. So um, this is a non-Disney-owned location. So here, usually you're going to talk to a manager. Sometimes you can talk to a chef. Um, but the manager, Daniel, was super helpful. Very really helpful. thorough. We've been here a ton, but just really appreciate how very much thorough. they take uh, precautions. And they ask a lot of questions of us so that they make sure that we get some things that are safe. And what's coming for you? Because I've already had... Oh, Brandon's already handled it. I had one roll. Look how buttery that is. Yes. Which, uh, we'll see what I thought about him in a minute. But Sarah has some gluten-free rolls yeah, coming. Yeah, so Brandon, Edie's gluten-free roll, and then uh, I ordered a burger. I was going to get a fish sandwich, but they talked me into the burger, and it sounds really good. It's a new burger here. It's new, right? Yep. And then you got your favorite sliders. My sliders. My filet mignon Oh, sliders. and we're getting oh, yeah. gluten-free mac and cheese for the first time. Oh, yeah. So try. usually I get a side of mac and cheese for myself, but... Uh, we had heard and we just confirmed they can do it gluten free. So many. So we'll see how it goes. I'm I'm yeah, very I'm hopeful. But um, all right. Let's uh, well, not to dig into, but uh, let's oh, wait. No. I'll dig into the uh, my buttery rolls. But no, that's outstanding so far. All right, everyone. So. Are these the most buttery rolls of all time? The answer is yes. Throughout all of human recorded history, there has never been a more buttery roll than this. Let's just, I've already had one because I was starving. They're good. They're actually better than most of Disney's average generic. All right, so there was a cut there. The manager came back um, to talk about some more food allergy stuff, but all good. He was just con triple confirming what I had ordered. But uh, anyway, I just want to show you guys the smallest menu of all time. Tiny. This is the smallest menu. There it is. What is this? A menu for ants? But uh, anyway, as I already said, these are really good um, rolls. Let's have a bite. They are super, super, super buttery. Um, I've already had a bite. Like, it's really good butter with a touch of roll. So, uh, <laughs> so if you like butter, yeah. no boat and houses, you can have and go crazy. Boat house has always had good rolls. Uh, better than the average, so really good. Okay, so I got a gluten-free bread service, which is temper your expectations when you come here. This is probably the one disappointing thing. And I 
the subway. It's just something to know about. It's the Udi's gluten free bun with some butter. Um, they have different kinds of butter. Oh yeah, if you they want. Do. Um, they have some olive oil if you are dairy free. So easy peasy. This will be what my burger is on, so it's nothing too fancy. But nice to it's something. Okay. So yeah, nice to get. Again, nothing fancy. It is a bun, but if you want a little bit of a bread service, it's nice that they do offer that to you as a gluten-free guest as well. So, I will eat it. Our dinner came amazing. I got the filet sliders again, as you can see, and some. Um, what were these beans? Red sorry. potatoes with uh, old bay seasoning. There it is, um, and not hashtag. There it is. I want to preface. Um, <laughs> Could let's be. Have, let's have a bite. This is a filet slider. While well, Brandon's taking a bite, notice mm. our gluten-free mac and cheese over here, which is a giant portion. We have some separate plates, so we can each have a little bit. Awesome. Filet sliders at Boathouse are amazing. If you, if you can have this, I highly recommend it. I've gotten the last, what, few times you've come, right? Yeah, and also they do modification because the butter does have a Worcestershire sauce on it, which oh, contains yeah. fish. Yep. So they gave him a garlic herb butter instead. Oh, yeah, and uh, really quickly, there I did put is. some on it, and it was really good. There it is. Um, and this is the uh, potato. Potato. Mm. Awesome. For the price, amazing. Now, normally this will come with french fries, but they, um, the shared fries fryer. are in the same, it's a shared fryer that I can't eat out of. Got no issues with this. Absolutely delicious. You try the mac and cheese? I really, I need to see Brandon's review of this because he usually gets the regular mac and yep. cheese. So I'm curious, what do you think? A little messy. Everybody. And you notice that the it is a spiral mm. shape, gluten free. Oh my gosh! Is it good? It's so good. And you can't tell it's gluten free. Not yet. Really. Let me take one more bite to see if I can tell. Okay. No. Solid mac and cheese. Amazing. We will get this every time going forward. Every time. Okay, so we got our stuff. I'm gonna actually go in the reverse. And oh, the what, what do you mean? The same potatoes you got. Oh, that... Very good. I love old bay seasoning, so it's got a bit of a punch, and I really like the flavor of that. You know, what are we going for next? I can see. I'm super curious. Everyone, I've heard so many people rave about this. Delicious. Don't you? You just like okay. It's good. It's delicious. It's definitely the secret pasta. I can definitely tell that. Right oh, okay. Me. I think they probably use like the brilla. Okay. Um, it's very cheesy. Yeah, let's look at that. Here, I'm, I'm gonna go over here. Because you can get versions of this with a shrimp and you can do a sausage and lobster. It's really cheesy mac and cheese. Okay. And last but not least. And last but not least, the burger, which I think is going to be extremely messy. Let's look at that. It looks delicious, everyone. Yeah, it's got bacon jam in it. The only modification was the gluten-free bun and the removal of uh, fried onions. That is a good burger. Okay, okay. Super flavorful. The bacon jam is so good. Sweet, salty. I like the Swiss cheese. And it's got a chipotle aioli, so it's got a tiny bit of a kick to it. Okay. Um, but not too bad. It's not spicy at all. Um, yeah, good addition to the menu. Awesome. I like the burger. I like I said, I almost went for, for a fish sandwich, but I'm glad I tried the new burger because it is very tasty. Okay, ready to dig into all this? Yeah. All right. All right, so we're done with dinner. Debrief soon. But where are we going now? Well, the gluten-free bakery. Although it looks very busy. It does, but we're heading on in. Do they have any specials? They might have some holiday stuff, so right. I'm curious to see what they have right now. All right, so gluten-free bakery, then debrief.
Okay, we just got done at Aaron McKenna's Bakery. Yeah, they had some fun seasonal stuff there. They had some gingerbread. They also had their gingerbread cookies, some sugar cookies. They had like gingerbread cupcakes. I got a white chocolate peppermint mocha cupcake, which sounds okay. good. Okay, we got so a bunch of stuff. We didn't get a bunch of stuff. We just got a few things. Like two, five. Two cookies, a donut, and two cupcakes. Five things. Five things. More than a couple, more than a few. I didn't get my lemon juice. <laughs> but, um, and I usually get that. Um, so. And usually when we go here, just because they're in a bag, Sarah will probably insert some photos from home mm -hmm. that we'll put up here or somewhere. Yeah, um, we got, I got a 1971 donut that's inspired by the 50th anniversary. So that was oh, really fun. Cool. It's got the iridescent kind of colors, which is cute. I didn't even notice that, does it? Uh -huh. Oh, cool. I can't wait to see that then. But um, anyway, Aaron McKenna's Bakery is 100% gluten-free, correct? Gluten-free, dairy-free, uh -huh. egg-free, soy-free, and vegan. So how do they make anything? No, <laughs> no I'm kidding, everyone. I'm kidding. Oh it's delicious. I got myself a... Um, Cupcake yeah, you got a brownie thong. It's everyone, whether you have allergies, you can have whatever. Aaron McKenna's Bakery is a must. I, I, I jest. Um, yeah, it is delicious. I don't love everything from there, but I love like their tea cakes, their cupcakes are always good. Um, cookies for the holidays are always nice to get. So there's definitely something awesome. for everybody there. Awesome. So, and now the debrief. Boathouse. We went back, we came, we saw, we conquered. Vinny Vidi Vici. Julius Caesar said that. Anyway, um, when he crossed that Rubicon. Um, sorry, um, college. But um, it was amazing. So much food. We got filled up by the mac and cheese. The mac, and cheese, mac and cheese did us in. Um, I couldn't eat another bite by the time we were done. I didn't even finish two of my uh, potatoes. It was very good. I will say uh, I've been very curious about the gluten-free mac and cheese. Um, for me personally, I would not get it again. It was just kind of okay. It was very plentiful. It was very cheesy. But I did not think it was anything too fancy. But that's just my personal brand. I loved it. Can my eyes bug out anymore? Like Arnold Schwarzenegger in Total Recall. I don't know. <coughs> what was that? <laughs> I'm on Mars. I can't oh, breathe. No. But um, <laughs> but no. It, Sarah did ask me, is it as good as their normal non-gluten-free mac and cheese? No, it's not. But it is a very, very, very solid. I told Sarah I would absolutely get it again with her to split. Sarah said no. Nope. So next time I'll probably get the normal mac and cheese. I would get it with you again. I just wouldn't get it every single time. Okay. It was not my okay. favorite. But solid there's no, for there's no reason one person should get that for the price. So. Or is there? But no, it's um, no. Sarah's right. She's dead on with what she's saying. Uh, but it was good for me. Better for me than it was for her. But uh, yeah, it was good. But That's now good. the real reason you go the entrees. Oh yeah, I will say the new burger that I got was very good. I highly recommend that. Um, it looked amazing. Their seafood is always really good. I almost got the mahi sandwich. Um, they're very good for gluten free and dairy free. You just have to talk through the options with um, a manager. Chef, they have um, chicken I did have dairy on my. Um, entree and of course the mac and cheese, but I would definitely get the burger, even though it feels like you should get like seafood at Boathouse. Yeah. Uh, I really like the burgers though, they're always very solid. Yeah, it Boathouse does feel like a seafood place, however, it will kill me probably literally, so um, I can't. But I always get the filet mini on sliders, and they were amazing tonight, yeah. too. Um, I don't know what more to say about them, I love them, but yeah, absolutely amazing. And Sarah and I were talking while we were there. And we do want to stress to a lot of people that might be watching this about restaurants that may not be Disney owned. Great. We've had some really good luck and most of the restaurants here in Disney Springs are not owned and operated by um, Disney Deluxe and the Hangar Bar. Those are a few that are owned by Disney, but most of them are not. Most of them are third party owned. And the Boathouse, I think, is just really excellent. We've had some really good experiences. The managers and chefs have always been really yep. great. So it's worth trying. Um, because they do a really good job. Yeah, um, I know there's people out there, and if this is you, that is completely fine. If you follow our channel long enough, we don't begrudge anyone anything, whatever their comfort level. But there are people that, if it's not owned by Disney, they won't even try it out, or they're a lot more hesitant. Uh, especially for Boathouse, please don't be. Yeah, please yeah, don't be. I'm like, I'm looking at you, more Moto Asia. Hold on, hold on. I'm, I, I'm going to try, and Sarah may cut this. I don't know. Where is this at? Oh, oh, oh. No, didn't work. 
Yeah, of all the locations. Morimoto's Ace is right over there, there but... I, I have gotten gluten there multiple times, yeah. and they have very limited gluten-free options, in my opinion. So, yeah. so Boat House is great. Um, Rag and Row we're right across from, and that has always been really excellent, too. So there are definitely some really good options. Yeah. Um, Boat House, I would definitely recommend. Planet Hollywood's been good, too. Yeah, we've got a lot. Anyways, we could talk a lot about Yeah, this. yeah, we could. We're, we were here for Boat House but and Aaron McKenna. It was very nice to come yeah. out. Um, we do want to go to the Hangar Bar for their holiday stuff because they do a whole holiday overlay with some holiday menu items. Um, we went last year. It was very fun. So and I'll have to link, link to that one because that was a fun experience. So hopefully we'll get there it, before. Watch the video. It, it was, and we sat, was that when we sat in the diving the bell? Diving bell yep. So and watch that video if you haven't seen it yet. Yeah, so hopefully we'll get to go there. Otherwise, it's nice to be at Disney Springs a little bit. It's getting busy. Yeah. So I think it means it's time, time to go. Time to go. So again, thank you to all the patrons on Patreon. Everyone's amazing. Please, it goes without saying, but I'm going to say it. Um, if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, share the video, thumbs up, leave a comment. Have you been here? Have you been to Boat House? Have you not? Do you want to go? What's your favorite restaurant? And that's the thing. Leave a comment. What's your favorite restaurant at Disney Springs? We'd like to hear. Do you also not like Mori Moto Asia? Or, or do you like it? <laughs> or but, am I controversial? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is Sarah being controversial right now? Um, although I've never eaten at Mori Moto Asia. I really want to because it looks like it's from Blade Runner. But Anyway, that's it. Anything else? No, I'm very full. All right. So that is it. We are heading home. Yep. So with that, we will see you soon. Bye. Bye.